Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Happy Saturday to you. Um, today's episode is once again powered by my awesome sponsor over at Elgato. As I'm so used to telling you by now, I use all of the Elgato product lineup to help make my videos every single day. Check down below in the description. There'll always be a link to my Elgato profile page. You can learn more about what I use and, of course, pick stuff up for yourself, you aspiring content creators out there. So thank you once again to Elgato, and let's get cracking with today's episode, shall we? So um, we know my main team looks like this, and to be fair, it would take a uh, pretty crazy pull to to switch anybody out uh, I like who I've got in here um, I wish there was a way for me to get Bellingham into the team on full chem where Neves is but it would require other changes to the squad as well right I do have Royce I guess but um we will just leave it like this for now I like to bring Bellingham on in the second half of games uh, and he does very well there uh, at that point even on that zero chem so maybe I could even start him on that you know um but yeah, getting on into the games, I needed to uh, qualify for the weekend league. I'm not even 100% certain that I'm playing the weekend league uh, this weekend, but uh, it, it got to the point where I thought, well, you know what? I definitely won't be if I don't qualify. So let's head on in and, uh, and, and see if we can muster up a victory. Uh, and game number one, unfortunately, did not go the way I'd thought or hoped or wanted it to go. Uh, as you can see there, at 3-1 down, I end up quitting. So that's not great. I then lost the second match as well to an absolute sweat lord. I quit really early in that one at 2 or 3 nil down. So this is actually game three right here. Uh, and I'm like, well, I think... I think the game uh, and my opponents are, are making up, the, making my decision for me here because I'm not even going to qualify. Uh, I've lost two in a row. Uh, but... 18 minutes into game number three, we get our second goal there and uh, it gets me the victory. The guy quits. So uh, the start of a winning streak, perhaps, that's that would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, and if we can get four wins, if we can get six wins, all of that would be uh, nice, useful rewards for us. Um, and this guy quit literally after three FIFA minutes, three and a half FIFA minutes. Uh, he ran at my goalie. I managed to tackle him run down the other end of the pitch and score. So, uh, yeah, take that one all day long. Two victories. That means we're halfway towards uh, getting our qualification. So pressure has, uh, after a bit of pressure being put on there at the start, uh, it has sort of died off a little bit now. You know, it's it's, it's not, it's not a, a worrisome time anymore. I'm pretty sure I can make my way into the weekend league. 2-0 uh, up in this one as well. Make that three. Alawairan is a joke. Um, he's so good, I packed him twice and uh, ended up putting him in. Well, I packed him like three times this year, technically, with the World Cup one as well. And I don't know if I packed the base one. I might have packed the base one at some point as well. So a, uh, a pack favorite of mine this year was uh, Saeed Alawairan. Now, I end up scoring quite a nice power shot there with Neymar. But, of course, the goalkeeper was running out, so... Uh, I'm not exactly going to claim it to be the best goal I've ever scored. Um, but my opponent, once the ball goes out, just decides to pause and quit. And I'm like, yep, fine, cool, appreciate that. There's the uh, there's the fourth win. Um, so we can guarantee ourselves as, as, as into the weekend league. We then come up against this squad, which I guess is a past and present Ajax. Or of easy or something. Uh, I didn't necessarily look at every single player, so... Uh, Apologies if they someone there didn't ever play for Ajax, but I assume that's what it was. Uh, and it was a fairly noticeable gap between... Like, he was an alright player, but because we were fairly similarly matched and I had a way better squad, uh, it was it, that was the difference, you know. So at 2-0, he ends up kicking the ball out and quitting as well. Um, so there's five wins in a row really quickly, actually. Uh, and if I could just get one more win, then I'll be done. I'll take the six win rewards. That'll get me quite a lot done for my uh, my weekly objectives, my weekly footies objectives, whatever they are. They're two two different things, I think. Um, I score a penalty to equalize here. He ends up going 1-0 up with Zola. Uh, I then score the, the equalizer. But I've got a 2xG at halftime. So hoping in the second half that some of my other players can make a difference. Uh, we brought the likes of Bellingham on. I think we brought the likes of Tammy Abraham on. 
Neymar scores again. Tammy, look at him. That is uh, that's Kula Bali that he just absolutely sent for a hot dog. Uh, and then we end up getting the goal with Neymar. Uh, I sort of overran it with Tammy. I probably should have finished earlier. Uh, and then what a little finesse shot that is from Jude Bellingham. Um, yeah, quality, quality stuff. Uh, so we're 4-1 up. Looking pretty good that we're going to win this one. Uh, make, let's make it five, shall we? Green timed. Alawai ran on the rebounds. I thought I was going to hit Tammy. I'm not going to lie. But uh, that's the that's the rage quit. That's the six wins. And that is the slightly better rewards and some decent objectives completed as well. So, um, yeah, happy with that. And, of course, it only took out a few minutes worth of, of the video, which, you know, let's face it, gameplay in, in August is not not really what you're tuning in for so we unlock 90 rated Kavaras Gelia. terrible at pronouncing his name by the way apologies we also unlock Ant-Man um where they continue on the what have we had Danger Ferrari and Ant-Man so fair play uh we, we've unlocked him he will be fodder for me probably uh don't think I'll use him and here's a couple of packs that we can open uh, including our rewards, of course. So we get anything from the rewards, it'd be quite nice if we could get a special card or two because these are tradable. It would just help my coin balance out a little bit because we're not the richest. We're sitting on about 100k and I really want to have a go at the old 400k pack again. So uh, happy to see a special card pop up. Even if it is just a discard-worthy Forsberg, uh, I will... Just take the ten and a half thousand coins that you get for for discarding him, and uh, and move on to the next one. It gives me another ten k, doesn't it? Simple as that. So uh, yeah, we'll take that. And then Mega Pack number two can provide us with a future stars player, uh, Singo, I believe. Yes, yeah, so only an eighty six rated, but again, another free ten thousand coins. So uh, we'll take that one. And uh, we've improved our our coins by about 20, 25,000 over the last couple of packs. So with some of that stuff, I went and sent all three of the daily team of the week packs uh, in order to get, again, some more tradable players that I could then go ahead and sell, hopefully. Um, and we get Acuna in the first one, 87 rated. That, partic that sort of thing doesn't matter too much. I guess he's probably 5K more than someone like this, like an 83, 84 rated, because um, the team of the weeks have come down a little bit. Um, but the prices, they do sort of juggle somewhere between 20 and 30k for all your informs. Um, so it's definitely worth doing them every day uh, if you've got any form of uh, like gold players and stuff in your club that you can use to get them done. It's certainly worth selling them on if, if you're uh, not going to just stick them into the SBCs every day. Like you could do that, but then you're struggling to make money, right? Uh, we get a another free 10,000 coins. Oh, no. I thought that was... Oh, yeah. I remember what that was. That was a, a special card from one of the uh, the the, up, the silver upgrade packs. Um, of course, I did my daily bronze, my daily silver, and turned them into golds and whatnot. But I'm not going to show you that every single day at this point because it is the same grind every single time. Um, but from that, we can go ahead and, uh, and get marquee matchups done because I turned all of our bronzes into silvers, silvers into golds, and... Of course, that probably puts another 80 to 100 uh, non-rare golds into the club, which just helps fill a squad out in marquee matchups quite well. Uh, we get a whatever that card design is. I've literally forgotten again. What was that? But then we've got that MLS fella. Could discard him because he doesn't really sell. Uh, a walkout in the next pack. So gold player here that's going to be worth a little bit. It is SMS Milinkovic Savic. Um, to me, that is a level that I'm not going to bother getting the coins for him. He's an 86 rated card at 6,000 coins. Uh, I'm, I would rather just put him into an SBC and that helps out a requirement or something. Uh, I think the minimum I should be making from sale for, for selling players is really a sort of 10k plus. I think otherwise I'll just sort of stick him into SBCs. Uh, so, marquee matchups continues. Prime Electrum this time. Can we get anything from this one? Hey, we can. So all of the packs so far have offered out some kind of walkout. Again, it's just another Forsberg. But again, that's another 10k. Uh, and we are slowly creeping up in terms of our coin balance, which is basically us slowly creeping up to potentially buy another store pack at some point with our coins. Um, and then I had to spend a little bit on the final SBC to get 
uh, the Liverpool-Chelsea part done. But marquee matchups done. That, of course, gives us a couple packs and it also gives us a little bit of XP, which took me to the next level. And it got me a 1082 plus rare players pack. So what can we get from these three half decent packs then? Uh, we can get lights up. And away we go, all the way for an 83. Uh, 83s are actually probably worth selling because they're two to 3,000 coins uh, for an 83, and you can get them quite easily. So uh, I, I do sell them. Uh, Vitinia, 89 rated, is in the next one. He was once a very expensive, very uh, sought-after card on this game, but now is 12, 13,000 coins. Uh, is what it is we're in august baby so uh that's what it's gonna be and then 10 82 rated players it's good as long as you don't get a, an entire pack full of gold you know as it is august like i've said a few times you want to definitely get loads of special cards in this pack right um so as long as you don't get a whole pack of golds then you're all right hello yeah i got a full pack of golds as you could probably tell that's what i was building up to um so let's go on the fun part of the daily grind, which is either 85 times 10s or TOTS packs. So working on them right now, see what we can make happen. I think I'm going for a TOTS pack here to begin with uh, because I knew I had those three informs that I could sell and I'm at 115,000 coins. We can work our way up. That'd be really, really nice. And it's a TOTS moment. Of course it is. French, yeah, we've seen this before. Oh dear. We have not seen this before. Normally... That Man United badge doesn't come up and it, it shows me some Bundesliga club and I get Le Croix. But this time we got ourselves 94 rated Varane. Lovely stuff. Uh, checked his price, 180,000 coins. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to propel me uh, towards a 400k pack, not just a 300k pack, um, which is the sort of thing which hasn't happened for me for the last few days. So buzz in with that. With some more fodder, I got another tots pack done. Get a proper tots this time, and it's French centre back again. Uh, this time it's Saliba from Arsenal. So uh, I mean, if I'd have kept both of them, I would have had a nice strong link French centre back duo for the for the club. Um, but hopefully, we'll just maybe uh, during like batch three, which I guess is in a week. Uh, hopefully we get loads of tots and I'm able to pack the likes of Varane and stuff uh, untradeable that I can maybe keep for my club because it would be quite a cool one to keep. Uh, but for now, we'll definitely take those coins. Uh, and with the sale of the two tots and the three informs, uh, my friends, we are over 400k, which means we might as well end the episode off by going and opening a super ultimate pack. 400,000 coins, 250 players what is this one going to give me then? Uh, we don't see Futties. And I think that means we definitely don't get Futties. But we do get a 92 rated Goretzka. Uh, I'll certainly take that. That's good rating, good fodder, good card in all honesty. But uh, there are better versions of him, uh, of course, on the game. And then in the pack, an entire page of special items, including 91 Lamella, Phillips, Martinelli, two informs. That's probably the best part of the pack. Uh, it means we could do some 85 times 10s tomorrow. Uh, but then scrolling towards the end, I was quite surprised to see only one um, special card uh, from this card design, which I still have completely forgotten what promo that was. Um, I don't know why that one escapes my, my brain every day. It's weird. Uh, Fantasy Fut? Is that it? Was that it? It might have been. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, we've come to the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, do me a small favor and hit the thumbs up button. I'd absolutely love to see if we can break through the 1,000 likes barrier today. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Cheers. You can follow me on social media. The links are down below. Have a great day, everyone. Hopefully your football team does well. Unless, of course, you are a Stoke City fan. I hope you lose to my team Ipswich. Uh, I'm looking forward to catching you all tomorrow. I'll see you then. Peace.